Hi guys, welcome back to another video and I'm basically doing a room tour today for my friends who wanted to see what my room looks like. I hope it's not too boring for everybody. <laughs> so we're starting with the front area that you see when you come in. I wanted to make it more of like a cozy vibe so that it looks more like chill when you step into my room. And so I have this shelf that I got on Taobao. And basically a bunch of uh, different things that I put on there just for decoration purposes. Moving on to my elevated bed area, basically I have steps that go up and this is the same for the rest of the rooms in my house. Um, underneath these steps is like drawers that I can put to store things. It's very functional. When my dad designed this, he also agreed to put bed frames on both sides so that when I have friends come over, they can basically sit on my bed because my room is pretty small. I also got some fairy lights off Shopee, it's freaking cheap you guys, go buy it. And then I hang it around my bed frame and around this heart shaped thing where I have pictures of myself, my friends and some family. Moving on to my view that I see every day, it's kinda shitty to be honest, but basically I hang this fake flowers around it. And fun fact, it's for my 21st birthday which I kept, so yeah, Taobao, super cheap. Um, I also have this automated blind system thing which I think is freaking cool. The only downside is that the blackout blinds aren't really blackout blinds, if that makes sense. And then I have a bunch of things on top of my bed area like counter, which is pretty self-explanatory. Over here, I just have my projector. Yes, I have a projector in my room. I know everyone should freaking invest in one. It's so good. But I actually changed out this one because it sucks. So I have a Google as well and a, like a multi-purpose plug thing so that I can charge my stuff. Beside my bed, I have more like hidden storage area. So I just keep my camera charger here and USB and yeah, it's a mess. Here, my brother's showing my projector screen where I watch my shows. I'm gonna show you the coolest part of my room right now, which is my walk-in closet. This was the one thing that I kinda requested from my dad when he was designing my room. I basically said I wanted a walk-in closet. And I know it's kind of extra and excessive, I get. Yeah, I think I am too, so. With my walk-in closet, you can only go one way as I show you now. So it's small enough for one person to fit. Here I have an accessories cabinet which I haven't really moved in back then so there's nothing much in there. The closets all have glass doors as well so that I can easily see through them and then I also have a combination of hanging and pull out drawers. This middle closet in particular is meant for my long dresses and jumpsuits. The height is designed such that it allows for long dresses and stuff not to get crumpled because for this one there's only one drawer. Here I keep a bunch of my sweaters and stuff right at the end of the closet because it's something that I don't really use, especially not in Singapore's weather. Um, I also have a bunch of belly items here that I used to learn when I was younger and this is so freaking small um, and then more sweaters and yeah I'm just going through everything to show you and then this one I think was when I was like 18 or something oh my gosh so embarrassing here is me showing my belly shoes oh my god yeah I used to learn all the way to like point storage area for my skincare which is freaking messy uh it doesn't look like that anymore i also put some books in here and some other stuff like my blankets and extra pillows the last thing i want to show you guys on today's tour is my huge ass light ring mirror so i do my makeup pretty much here and that's me in my freaking home clothes looking disgusting as shit yeah, and that's the end of my room tour. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Just don't forget to click like and subscribe and I'll see you guys the next time. Bye!